Let's now understand the data sharing architecture. This image has been taken from Snowflake documentation and this provides a very great example to talk about data sharing architecture. On the top, we can see there are different providers of the data. This is the first provider. This is the second provider. I'm talking about the provider Snowflake accounts as we can see the logo of the Snowflake. Here we can see this box contains both provider and consumer and this one also. And these three are the consumers only. The blue ones are the original databases and the gray ones are the shared databases. Let's talk about the flow. As we have discussed that a provider can share their data to multiple consumer accounts and a consumer can consume the data from multiple provider accounts. Talking about the first provider, it is sharing the data to this consumer and this consumer has consumed this provider database to a database on their consumer account. Similarly, the second provider is supplying the data to these three consumers simultaneously. And a single database can be shared to different consumer accounts. Each database has to be consumed on the consumer account by creating a separate database. This provider is sharing the different databases to multiple consumer accounts and each consumer account can even consume multiple databases from the same provider account. On the right side, we can see that these two accounts are both providers and consumers. This is because they are sharing their data to other consumer accounts who is consuming the data and also they are taking the data from other providers account by consuming it on their account. Hence, these accounts become both providers and consumers of the data. Hope you understand this concept. It is pretty easy to understand this concept because of this illustration that Snowflake has given to us in their documentation. If you have understood data sharing conceptually, we can proceed to the subsequent lectures where we will be able to see how to work with data sharing on Snowflake practically. We will be creating databases and different shares to be shared with the different consumer accounts. And we will also list down some of the limitations that are there with the shared databases. So let's jump to the demo of data sharing in the subsequent lectures.